I hope you guys are well. Today I am back with one of my lovely friends, Greg. Hi. We are going to do a video all about relationships, aren't we? Yes. Very excited about this. I did post a picture on Instagram. You guys sent in hundreds of questions. So we've gone through all hundreds. of those. Yeah. <laughs> gone through them and split them up into categories and then we're going to answer some particular as questions. As best we can. The first topic we are going to talk about today. The friend zone. Being in the friend zone. A lot of questions came up. Is that the friend's box? Yeah. Yeah, okay, got that. Zone. A lot of questions came up about being in the friend zone and how to get out of it. As a guy, yeah. if you like someone and you want to get out the friend zone... I'll just give you my first tip. Is it lunch or dinner? <laughs> okay. Yeah, okay. Cuz that is a huge thing. Yeah. If it's if it's a lunch type thing, it's it's more it's, it has a more yeah. friend vibe to it. That's if it's true. yeah, I think. If it's a dinner, there's some, you know, there's, there's a like bit romantic yeah, exactly. Vibes, you get the darkness, yeah. yeah. If it's yeah. lunch, it's more like casual, relaxed. That's how I so think. So that's how you can tell, kind of thing, what yeah. zone you're in. Yeah. Okay. And how would you break out of the friend zone as a guy or a girl? I think it completely depends on personality. Like yeah. I think. I think like some girls like to just take a step back and let the guy do the work, but then I think a lot of girls miss out on opportunities by doing that. I don't think girls really realise like that guys are actually not they're not like gonna just go out there and say guys also like a, a shy. Yeah, don't they don't be shot down and like the yeah. most important thing is is that I think guys feel so much uh, have the same sort of feelings that girls feel, but they just don't say it as much and aren't expected yeah. to to say it to say it or feel it. And so girls are thinking like, no, he's definitely not feeling that. But I hundred, I reckon like a, a lot of the time they really are thinking like yeah, the same exactly the same thing. The mistake I've made like liking someone, but like you're in the friend zone, but you're trying to get out of the friend zone is like. You kind of start, like, I've tried to, like, talk about other things, like, other males to, like, see their reaction. When, no, like, that just doesn't help uh, anything, does it? No, I don't think so. It just so. makes you look like you're interested in someone else. 100%. And they're like, well, I'm definitely friend zone. Yeah, too. exactly. I've definitely made that, that mistake. That is such that is such a thing that girls do. They talk about, like, other guys to make the other to make the guy that they're actually, like, jealous. And the other guy's like, oh, shit, well. Well, might as well move along then. Like, yeah. She's liking this guy. What am I doing here? You know, it's obviously you have to evaluate the situation. But if girls are gonna, if you're not, if you're not prepared to make the first step, then I think also sometimes you're missing out because it's not only the guy's job to take the first step. Yeah. And if you feel like that strongly, and if you're in a position where you can't feel like you can't wait any longer, or you can't, or you're not finding any signals, then I don't think there's anything wrong yeah. with trying to establish signals. some clarity. Signals. Yeah. So as a girl, one of the questions that came up is, how do you know if a guy likes you? It's like it kind of like goes back to like playground days. It's like treat them mean, keep them keen type of thing. Like a lot of guys think that's a good way to go. Yeah. But often it actually kind of is. But then it's also important not to read too much into it because then if, you, if someone's like being really horrible to you and you're like, oh my God, he loves me, but really he just absolutely <laughs> fucking hates you. Then it's like, oh shit, then you've got a bit of a problem. I think the problem is, is that if you're questioning it in your mind without having any like iota of like inkling or like sensate then he probably doesn't but I, he's not that into you really. as honest as it is it's, it's honest you need some sort of signal right yeah, yeah. you gotta what and it's like it's or not even like if you kind of want to find out maybe you could do a little bit of a handy touchy yeah. flirty kind of thing and see how the other person 100%. responds yeah. and if they respond well then cool if they don't Better days. We had a lot of questions about makeup on the first date. So what kind of makeup look would you, let's say would you not like to see? Pastel <laughs> eyes, greens, okay. like colors, just like you're not a fucking peacock. <laughs> Sorry. That's so Sorry. Funny. You're not a peacock. Like just stick with like neutral colors. So kind of like your yourself but better. Kind of yeah, makeup. just like natural. Nothing too much. Unless that's like your signature look and that's what you wear yeah. every day. Yeah. But yeah, in general, you kind of like the girl but enhanced. Yeah. We also got asked a lot about um, ideal first dates. I don't know what you think about that. That's quite a tricky one. It's I quite think. nice to like have an activity yeah. to do. First date, I've always found if it's like a first date dinner or something, like it's quite intense and one on one yeah. and it's like quite can be a bit awkward or even if it's not awkward, you just kind of feel a bit. I don't know, I do, I just feel a bit like, oh my god, if it's like an activity and you're going to do something like, I don't know, watch a play, see a film, like, something. Yeah, there's something to distract from like any awkward yeah, potential. Yeah, the awkwardness, and then you have stuff to kind of talk about around what you're doing. So, yeah, it gives, definitely like gives some conversation for some yeah. stuff for you to talk about. You have to know who you're taking out, you've got to know what she likes or what he likes, and you've got to go do something that's gonna, like, 
and be enjoyed by both together, of you. Yeah. yeah, exactly. And it's very, it's very specific on the person. I yeah. Feel. So you're dating someone, and you kind of notice that you're getting a bit jealous about other males or females, you know, entering the zone. What do you do? I'm a, quite a jealous person. Mm. I it just annoys me. It just yeah. like gets under my skin. It drives me <laughs> really. It just drives yeah. me mad. How do you deal with it? Do you approach the person and say, I don't like that person you're hanging out with? Do you, you know, sit and let it boil inside you? I think you've you got to make sure that you're secure in the relationship. That's where jealousy really springs from. Yeah, and when from. you trust someone, I think. Yeah, and when you yeah. trust someone, that jealousy tends to evaporate. You can just do little things which help just establish that trust. So. Yeah, like a text before you go to sleep. If someone's like, you know, going out without you. Yeah, just letting keep them, them updated. Know that you're home yeah, exactly. Yeah. That type of thing, just to like, touch base and know that you're yeah. like thinking about the person. But I think sometimes when you find that someone's like overstepping a boundary when it comes to, you know, your boyfriend or whatever, or girlfriend. Yeah, then I think they also need to be, then that's when communication also comes yeah. into it. And you have to let the, your boyfriend or girlfriend know. And you gotta let, I reckon, what's yeah. wrong with letting the other person know? Yeah. Back off my board, bitch. <laughs> That was a Z snap. Oh, that was yeah. a Z snap. That was like, oh, hey girl. Moving on. A lot of people ask about activities. Spice it up in the bedroom. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say the word rut. Okay, but, sorry. But uh, we could go your way. No, I was it being in a rut. I think a little day trip is always nice. Oh, that's a great idea. A day trip. Yes, even or a weekend like, away somewhere. Yeah, that's even so like nice. just... You know, driving down to the seaside if you yeah. live near the seaside or the countryside. Or even if you don't, walk. you can have a road trip. If you're in a rut, no, you take a break, get away from it all. That's what I think. And try like take yourself, both of you, out of the situation yeah. which is causing the rut. Go somewhere else, create new memories. Yeah. Do something special and nice and yeah. different. And I feel like when you're not in your kind of usual environment, you remember like why you love that person and Definitely. what it is that like attracted you to yeah, them. Yeah, of course. And it kind of sparks up new excitement. Yeah. And look back at like old photos and things like yeah. that and like just remember like what's important. Next topic which we've also received a lot of questions about is uh, cheating. There were a lot of questions saying like I really want to be with my boyfriend but he cheated on me. Do you think I still should? What would you do? That kind of thing. For me it's a question of respect as well. Relationships yeah. are all about mutual respect and you have to respect yourself if there is to be that mutual respect. And once someone cheats, I think that kind of crosses the boundary. For me, I don't think that respect is there anymore. I feel For like you're me, not respecting yourself, respect, yeah. and but the fact that they cheated originally shows that you should never respect them. Well, that you don't, like that shows that they've lost respect for themselves. Yeah, I think it's like each to their own. I know that I wouldn't be able to get back with someone if they cheated on me. I'd just be way too paranoid. Yeah. Um. I wouldn't be able to. I wouldn't be able to. But do each it. circumstance is different, you know. Yeah. says, what do you do when you want to get a guy's attention? So from a guy's perspective... Show them your tits! No, <laughs> oh my god! That is no! <laughs> no! Definitely oh, not what no. to do! I would invite him to something. Yeah, that's I a great idea. I would invite him to like a party yeah. your friends having... I think that's a really good idea. Yeah, or like throw, have like a dinner and be like a group of us are going to dinner, do you want to come? Yeah. They'd really like to meet you because they know you do this and they're interested just in Just invite someone about, you know? somewhere. That's yeah. how like you get them to notice you. Just go and talk to them. So there's no like two ways around it. You can't just be like hiding behind a curtain and be like, <laughs> ooh, notice me. Catty Cyril reminded me about long distance relationships yeah. and advice. Yeah. You are the, quite the pro on long distance. I'm definitely not. I have never been in a long distance relationship. And I was away this for like two months, yeah. which was, it was tough to be away from your girlfriend for, for, out for, that, for two months. It's not even about just like, even the like constant communication, it's more about just knowing that the person's like nearby, which is what is the most comforting. But if you are in a situation where you're like a long way away from the person, you've got to make the time to speak to each other and to communicate. And I really think that absence does make the heart grow fonder. Farouch01 says, how to politely deny someone who asked you out. We've both been here. This is very, very tricky. It is tricky, it's especially like, if you're like mutual friends with someone. Yeah. And you know, you have to see them a lot. I think you have to make an excuse. Make an excuse or friend zone. The problem is though, is that you have to make an excuse where the other person gets a message without being insulted. Mm. I would kind of do a little white lie and if it kind of persisted and say like, oh, I can't, I have a date, how about lunch? No, see, I see what you're doing there because you're not, you're making the excuse, but you're also then directing it to the friend zone. See, that's brilliant, right there. <laughs> that, you see, Amelia's done this before, right? 
is called the deflection into the friend zone. So the excuse has been made. Yeah. And then she's suggesting a lunch, but we'll keep it lighthearted. We'll just chat as friends and that's that. Brilliant. Boom. Done. Eggy John says the do's and don'ts for first dates. That is very good. Okay, should we just throw stuff out there? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can kiss on the first date, but that's it. I think it just gives something more to play for, yeah. to be honest. Don't be late. Yeah, no, don't be late. Don't That's be a good late. One. So I guess just rude. Yeah, it just sets like a bad vibe for the first beginning of the date. Yeah, no more than ten minutes, really. Yeah. I mean, that's even pushing it as it is. Do wear perfume or like a nice perfume, something that's not going to be overpowering. Yeah. But also, I think something that's different. I think girls should offer to pay. I think a hundred percent. I think yeah. especially today, like it's 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 just a nice gesture to like offer to to like share the bill, even though a guy may not expect the girl to pay or like it's just nice to have that little you know oh no let me pay no let me know no no <laughs> that whole thing is just nice because yeah. it you know it just shows that you don't Rather want someone sitting someone, there being yeah. like here huge thing that so many guys just don't do is like look at your hands make yeah. sure your hands and nails are cut properly and that there's no dirt under your nails and That's also point. and moisturize your yeah. hands too if you're gonna if you're like gonna event, if you're gonna touch it, yeah. yeah at the end of the first date you want to create like a hook and something to, yeah, like, to get on to the, the second, second date. Day. Because what's the point of a first date if there's no second date? Yeah, or if third you want a second fourth. date. Yeah. So like what? So maybe something you've talked about that you both want to go do or yeah. see. Or like arrange a plan at the end or like have some sort of like pending communication or event happening that draws you back to each other at the end of it. Yeah. Elaine Mitchell says best breakup advice. <laughs> I think my best breakup advice to my younger self would be don't like rush like you will get over the person and you will feel less like crap and yeah. you will stop thinking about them with time like right. time and it is so like true it's yeah. all about time. time yeah but you don't the problem is is that when you're in that moment it just doesn't feel like there's ever going to be a time yeah. where it's going to be okay and you feel like you're annoying everyone because all you can do and think about is like that person and just and sulking like... all the time yeah, yeah. <laughs> it sucks yeah. but it's just something you got to get through it's like yeah. a it's, it really is and that i think it says a lot about you the yeah. way you do it and the fact that you can you know, and you can. You can. Yeah. You can. That's what dairy milk buttons. Yeah, are they for, they really know? help. They really <laughs> help. I think the, I think it's really important to not like go back and dissect everything. Yeah, because that I just definitely. think is so. A lot of people you do that. You just kill yourself. Over yeah, it, right? and you can kill yourself yeah. with tiny little details. Just as much as you can. Just take a deep breath and just you know just be like, fuck. what's done is done. Yeah. Kind of thing. Yeah. But you will find I find this in myself that like you'll learn things from your past relationships and you'll be like kind of appreciate that that relationship happened and like what it taught you absolutely and then you'll be like okay now i know how to move on and do things differently exactly. and better is it okay to stop fart there are so many questions about farts well, let's see never is the answer to that question <laughs> miss <laughs> oi oi but okay never someone says what is when is it okay to stop farting in front of each other never like the question absolutely never, never is the answer do you fart in front of your no. friend really i don't fart full stop <laughs> What is your biggest relationship regret? Oof. I have mine. Go you? on. Okay. Yeah. Mine is not being 100% invested in the relationship. Yeah, that's... I feel like if you're in it, you need to be in it 100%. Well, for me anyway, it was like, I was just angry at myself because I was like, I wasn't in this 100%. And what's the point if you're not in it 100%? You have to be in it 100%. I completely time. agree. Yeah. That's really, that's that was really my good. that's my one that I told my younger self. But hey, you live and learn. Now you know. Yeah, I think it's when you know something about yourself that you think you can improve on, but then you're lazy about improving it. I think if you if you if you've like found something that you want to change and improve about yourself, which I think everyone should reflect about themselves and try and improve yourself as a person, but when it comes to that time, there's a difference between just thinking about it and actually doing it. Mm. And I think it's all about acting on it. So I hope you guys have enjoyed our relationship Q&A advice video. Tips and tricks. Tips and tricks with Amelia and Greg. Let us know if there are any other videos you'd like to see together. You can always give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Greg's link's are all in the information box below. He has a fantastic Instagram page. Thanks. Posts a lot of selfies, <laughs> okay? Bit too much, I'm just warning you. Not that many. There are a few. Okay, there are a few. There are and see you guys soon. Bye. 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 We're just leaving the secret room now. <laughs>
<laughs> the secret <laughs> room to go upstairs. Apparently there's a queue outside. I'm quite excited. I have my little water situation going on. Even though it's kind of empty, I basically just stole this from Hannah's bag. I want to actually show you guys when we get upstairs. I have like a table of, um, of favorites going on. This is what we're 